In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take an image that you host on your website and use it in your email signature. My name's Duncan from Six5, and we help customers get the best out of Google Workspace. And make sure your email is delivered on time, every time to the recipient's inbox. So email signatures can be a big problem with regards to spam. If they're not configured correctly, and the uh, image is not embedded correctly or in the right place, it can cause your emails to go directly into the spam box for people on the other end, no recipients. So the best way, or one of the ways to deal with this problem is to actually upload the images you wanna use in your signature to your website, and then use the URL for that image back in your email signature. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, and we use WordPress. So I'm gonna show you this from a WordPress context. And first of all, we're gonna upload the image that we want to use into our media library. And I've already got it here. So I'm just gonna click on that and open it up and you can see there is my image. Uh, this one's a, uh, a transparent background, that doesn't really matter. Over on the right hand side here, under file URL, I'm gonna right click on that, I'm gonna copy it. Now that, if I open up a new tab, is the direct link to that particular image on my website, okay? So that's all that is, it's just the image. Now I'm gonna take that URL that I've copied I'm gonna go over into the settings of my Gmail account. So I'm gonna click on the settings box up here and then uh, show all settings. And that brings me to this page. And I've scrolled down uh, from the top here on the general tab over here, down to the signature. And I'm just gonna make a new line here. And then I'm gonna click on the insert image button. So by clicking on that, it gets me the opportunity to select from my drive. I can upload it from my computer. But what I want to do in this case is I want to take it from a web address. So I'm going to paste that in here and it's going to find that image for you. Again, you can see it just there. I'm going to click on select and you can see that has now nicely placed that image into my signature. Now, if I come down to the bottom and I click on save. All right. Now, if I create a new email and I switch over to that account, you'll see that my email signature now has not only my information, but also that image too. And that means that when it gets sent, instead of it being embedded in the email and causing potentially some issues with spam, it's hosted nicely out on the web somewhere, which means it's always available. And when the person receives this on the other end, that image will appear for them too. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe below for more content on Google Workspace, Google Drive, email, productivity, and email deliverability. Email deliverability.